too, so anyone who wants We're on a felucca on the Nile at Aswan, and sailing across to the tombs of the nobles, carved into the side of a mountain. I'm obviously on the back of a camel, heading up to the um, the tombs of the nobles. This is the long way around. There is a stairway, but this is the scenic route. So here I am up on top with the tomb of the nobles in the background and some more tombs along the way here. This is, uh, I've been told, is all sandstone. So you see Christian burials here. And going through this narrow passage. Now about to enter into what looks like a very large hall. Thank you. Well, what is this in intriguing <clears throat> piece of rose granite? According to Yusuf Awian and Stephen Mailer, it may be an alchemical device, whatever that is. It's a beautifully a definite masterpiece of work. Thank you. So we saw Christian depictions, we saw dynastic Egyptian uh, depictions, so of course this area, these uh, tombs or system of caves were used by people over the course of probably thousands of years. But the question is, who originally made them? Is it possible that there was a pre-culture called the Comitians who were the original builders of the major um, caves with pillars that we've been in? We found the false door symbol on the wall all over the place, sometimes painted over with uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics or even Christian depictions. But that symbol itself represents water, so it could be that there is water behind these doors and that the shaft system is actually a water network from ancient times. I'm <laughs> <laughs> 